Good morning. We've got a little bit of information to tell you this morning, but first I want to ask you guys some questions. So when I ask the question, just raise your hand for me, okay? How many of you guys walk to school by yourself or walk home by yourself? Raise your hand. Okay. How many of y'all walk to the bus stop by yourself? Okay. How many of y'all like to go to Walmart with your parents? <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, the th what we're going to talk to you guys about today is called Stranger Danger, and we're going to give you some tips and show you some um, role plays that we want to give you some tips to keep you safe. So in case you're walking home from school by yourself, or in case you're standing at the bus stop by yourself, or if you get separated from your parents in Walmart or wherever, you'll know what to do in case a stranger approaches you, okay? So we'll be back in just a second to show you your first kit. Oh, wait. Hold on. Tips. Good morning, people. <laughs> okay, I'm going to tell you the difference between a good stranger and a bad stranger. I'm your grandma, so what am I? Ah, y'all smart. Y'all are smart. Okay, so when y'all go to Walmart, if y'all get lost in that store, y'all go to the front of the store with the people with the blue vest on. Do not leave the store. Do everybody know their mom's name? I hope so. Okay, 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 good. Do not leave the store, but they can call over the intercom and call your parents. They have one at Walmart, Food Line, wherever. You can also, police officer, they're good strangers. We have our nurses, that's good strangers. And then our bad strangers are the people that's gonna try to get you in their car, get you into the house. Do not go, okay? <laughs> But do not go. So everyone know the difference between a good stranger and a bad stranger. Okay, your teachers are also good strangers too when you see them out and about, all right? All right. <laughs> good morning, everybody. Good morning. Well, I want to tell you some information you need to know so that way you can tell a good stranger if something does happen. You need to know your name, your parents' names, your mom and your dad. You need to know your phone number, your mom and dad's phone number, if they have cell phones, and you need to um, try to remember your address so that way the good stranger can get you back home. Hey guys, there are a lot more good people out there than bad people, but if a stranger approaches you and tries to get you to go with them, don't do it. Run to a neighbor's house, start kicking, screaming, do whatever you have to do, yell stranger or you're not my mom and dad. Whatever you do, do not get in the car with a bad stranger. Anybody that is not your parents, a grandparent, an immediate family member, you do not ever get into the car with them. That's why you have your phone number and you have your parents' name so that you can go like she said, to the front of Walmart, let them know they can call your parents to come get you. Um, if somebody does try to get you to get in their car with them or take you out of the store and you do not want to go, you yell, you scream, you kick, you fall on the ground and you do whatever you do to get away from them so that they don't take you. Um, yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, you don't have to talk to a stranger. Um, you never walk to their car or their truck if they try to talk to you. You walk in the opposite direction. Um, don't accept candy. If they say, hey, do you want some candy? You say no, and you walk away in the opposite direction. And the best thing you can do is try to walk and stay with a buddy. If you're walking to the bus stop, make it so that you can walk with one of your friends. Um, have your parent walk you. You always try to stay with somebody else because it's always safer for you to be in a group or with somebody else. So the main thing we want you to remember is that if you don't know somebody, treat them like they're a stranger, okay? And <clears throat> be confident. If you feel like something's weird or you see somebody that's coming up behind you in a car and you don't know who they are and they're kind of creeping behind you, just take off on your bike or take off to the closest house. If you think somebody's at home, go to their house. Just trust your instincts. If you feel kind of funny in your belly like something's not right, you go and you find a good stranger. Your neighbor, a police officer, a 
guard at the store at the Walmart or the cashier or whoever you can find. And if you can't find somebody like that, if you see a woman with small children, she's probably a good person to go ask for help from too. Okay? So we're gonna have a couple of skits for you. We'll be back in just a minute, okay? Okay, kids, 
what should Anna do? Okay, our last skit is we've got Sarah and she's at the park and she's kind of playing off by herself. She doesn't have anybody with her and a stranger's going to call out her name. We don't know how he knows her name. Maybe she heard somebody else in the park call out her name. That's how he learned her name. So we're going to watch and see what we need to do with this one, okay? Sarah! Okay, let's freeze. Should she go with him? No! Do you see any good strangers she could go to? Yeah! All right, let's see what happens. to the closest house, go get a cashier in Walmart, go find a lady that's got little children with her, go find a police officer. You don't go with the stranger, right? No. You don't go near their car either, do you? No. Okay. This is what you do. When there's a stranger, you're in danger. If there's a stranger, 